From the sky, Omaha Beach is peaceful. It is hard to believe that 75 years ago, one of the boldest military operations in history took place here. Operation Overlord was the code name, best known as D-Day. Thousands of Allied troops and military equipment arrived on French shores from the air and from the sea. It took years to plan it. Uh, there were probably uh, uh, thousands of maps, thousands of decisions made. It was incredibly complicated. I'm not sure that we could repeat it today with all the technology that we have. Uh, we got to re remember these men did this without GPS, without the internet. June 6, 1944 was a very costly day to gain a foothold in Western Europe. The battles here claimed 8,500 lives among Allied soldiers, including 2,012 Americans killed in action. 2,000 more GIs were wounded or never found. To honor this sacrifice in Normandy, land was given to the United States to establish the American cemetery in Colville-sur-Mer. French people are still thankful 75 years later. It is like yesterday. It is the story of my family, of my grandparents. And today, I know the price for my freedom. Without these young men buried here, I do not know who I would be. About one million tourists from all around the world visit the memorial each year to pay tribute to the young generations who sacrifice their lives for others. That's so many uh, good men uh, gave their lives for freedom means a lot to us and to come here and to be able to take it in personally uh, is just a very emotional experience. As Europe battles new divisions, President Donald Trump visit these grounds to honor those who made the greatest sacrifice in the name of returning the continent to the free world. Nicolas Pinot for VOA News, Colville-sur-Mer, France.